gold in its purest form it's 24 carat 99.999 percent fine pure gold encased in an assay card these gold coins always come in assay cards that and they also speak about the validity and genuineness this is a coin but if you bought a gold bar it would come with a serial number and there is a barcode that if you scan using your mobile camera would take you to the site where you would exactly see which piece it is where it came from and you will see its license and certificate there so these assay cards even though they hold your dear precious metal inside them and you don't like them but at the same time they are certificates of their purity and genuineness so when the time comes that you want to sell them the buyer might want to see that just because of that we will not throw away this assay card we will preserve it but you comment below and let us know whether preserving the assay card will be any worth or not will the buyer be wanting to take a look at it or we should throw it away and just keep the gold coin in its casing comment below and let us know because you know i'm all about the base. Ah. I must say it was not an easy coin to take out of the casing. Because Two panels of the casing were so tightly attached to each other that it was difficult to find a way to get to the coin. Wow. No. Tero, tero, tero. and we all of our family was sitting together to <laughs> release it from the casing and my two daughters couldn't wait to hold it in the hand their presence was making it all the more difficult for us to take our time to take the gold coin out of the casing <laughs> All of this is silicone at its base. You'll have to remove the silicone or I don't know. So it was not silicone all through and through. It was just silicone on the sides of this casing and the silicone was attaching the casing to the assay card. So we basically cut through the piece of silicone and were taking off its bits and pieces off of the rim of the casing. And underneath the silicone lies the rail casing opening. It was a challenge in itself. Me and my wife were taking turns to try to release the coin from the casing. Her being more successful at her attempts because of her longer nails being a girl than mine. But unfortunately, in the end, when she actually succeeded at opening the casing, she ended up as well cracking her nail. <laughs> It's not, oh my god, even this is not gold. We were arguing over the material of which this casing was made. I was saying it was made of uh, glass and my wife was stern that it was made of plastic. And I proposed to just throw it on the floor to smash or shatter the glass so the gold coin would come out but my wife uh, maintained that she would try to open the casing without having to break it and voila there was our never touched 
gold in its purest finest form so beautiful so shiny so elegant its beauty was through the roof but my daughters couldn't wait to hold it and as soon as just we took it out of the casing one of my daughters oh, just no. grabbed and ran Very away and she took it in the mud of her toys wow. oh wait 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 you want to know wow toys the prayer Wow. So this is a fine picture of the gold coin taken out of the assay card. You can see on one side is the Canadian maple leaf and on the other side is the print of Charles III. And now I'm going to perform some tests so as to let you know what a real gold coin sounds like. Let me know what other tests you would like to perform on this beautiful gold coin. Comment below and let me know what you want me to do with it. That you have always been wanting to do with gold coins but either have never caught hold of them or your gold coins have always been resting in the casings. So normally people just keep the 24 karat gold coins in the casings but what we are thinking is we'll take it to a goldsmith and get a gold ring soldered to it so it can be hung with a chain as a pendant in its pure form without any bale or anything. Just this 24 karat gold coin hanging with a chain. Let us know, propose a good idea to use it because we just don't want to keep this. We want to use this till the time comes that we decide to sell it off. <laughs> 